Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about passive voice. First of all, the things that we are going to talk about. Why should we use the passive voice? The form of the tenses. We are going to make a revision about the tenses. How we change from active into passive voice. And we are going to do some exercises about passive voice. First of all, let's talk about why should we use the passive voice. Maybe we don't, we don't want to say who or what did the action. We want to avoid mentioning the, su the subject of the action. Or maybe you are trying to avoid responsibility for something you did. Or maybe you don't know who did the action. Or because the object is the most important part of the sentence. It means that we are going to focus on the object without mentioning the subject. Now, the present simple tense. The form of the present simple tense, as we know, subject plus verb 1 or verb 1 plus S -E -O -R -E -S, then the object or the sentence complement. We mentioned that if the subject is singular, we should add S or ES to the verb. Or if the subject is plural, we should put the verb infinitive. The present simple tense changed into object then is or am or are plus verb 3. If we want to change the present simple tense into passive voice, we should put the object then is or am or are plus verb 3. It depends on the object. If the object is singular, we should put as if, the, uh, if it is plural, we should put R or if this if the object is I, yani is me, we should change it to I, then put am plus verb 3. Here we have an example. Samba, uh, Samer reads my books. Samer is the subject. Reads is verb 1. My books is the object. We should take the object and put it at the beginning of the sentence. My books is plural. The object here is plural. We have books. So we don't put as we don't put am um, we put are plus verb three my books are read verb one read the verb three is read by Samer we can avoid mentioning it another example they visit Omar every week they is the subject visit verb one Omar object so what we should do is to put the object at the beginning of the sentence Omar is the object then we should look at the verb here we have verb one so we put is or are or am Omar is singular so we should put as verb three visited by them by them every week the past simple tense you know that the past simple tense started with subject plus verb to plus sentence complement or object a seal watched a film a film a seal watched a film here we have the subject, the subject here is a seal, watched verb two, a film is the object. What should we do? We should 
take the object and put it at the beginning of the sentence and because we have verb 2 we should add was or were then verb 3 here with passive voice we use verb 3 in all of the sentences so the sentence here Asil watched a film this is the object we take it and put it at the beginning of the sentence a film verb 3 means uh, sorry verb 2 means we should add was or were plus verb 3 a film is singular so we should add was then verb 3 watched by a seal by a seal another example Amir helped Usama and Ali so where's the subject where's the object where are uh, where is the subject where is the verb and where are the objects Amir is the subject helped is the verb Usama and Umar are the object so we take the object and put it at the beginning of the sentence Usama and Ali we have verb 2 so we should add was or were plus verb 3 Usama and Ali are plural so we should put were then we should add verb 3 helped by Amir by Amir The present continuous tense. As you know, the present continuous tense is subject plus is or am or are plus verb ing. If the subject is singular, we should put as. If the subject is I, we should put am. If the subject is plural, we should put are plus verb ing and the object. The first step we said that we should put the object at the beginning of the sentence then the verb here the present continuous became become sorry is am are being plus verb 3 object is am are being plus verb 3 here we have the object is the rooms we put it at the beginning of the sentence the rooms the rooms here we have plural so we should put our being verb 3 cleaned by a seal Amal is watching the new film subject verb object let's count down object verb subject so we should take the sub the object the new film is watching how do we change it into passive we should put is or are or am being verb 3 the new film is singular so we should put as being verb 3 watched by amal past continuous tense we start with subject was or were plus verb ing plus object this is the tense the form of the past symbol afon past continuous tense the past continuous tense so the form of the past continuous tense is subject was or were verb ing object if the subject is singular we should put was if the subject is plural we should put where plus verb ing plus sentence complement or the object now we have an example Hala was reading the letter how can we change it into passive voice we put the object at the beginning then was or where as we have here plus 
being plus verb three. The letter was being read by Hella. The present perfect tense. The form of the present perfect tense, subject plus has or have plus verb three plus object. So, how can we change it into passive voice? Object plus has or have, as we have here, plus been plus verb three. The window has been broken by Amal. So, we take the, the object and put it at the beginning of the sentence. Then, has been, verb three, has been bro broken by Amal. The past perfect simple tense. So here you should have you should keep by heart how we change each each tense into passive voice. The past perfect simple tense. We have subject had verb three and object. Ali had written a novel. We change it into passive by putting the object at the beginning of the sentence had been plus verb three. So. A novel had been written by Ali. The future simple tense. So here we have will or be going to. Let's start with will. Subject plus will plus verb infinitive and fail mujarrad plus object. We put the object at the beginning of the sentence then will be, then verb three. Ayham will close the door. Ayham is the subject, will close is the verb, the door is the object. So we should take the object and put it at the beginning of the sentence. The door will be closed by Ayham. Be going to. Be going to subject is or am or are going to then the object I am going to visit Samer so we thought we should take the object and put it at the beginning of the sentence then is or am or are it depends on the object itself so we have Samer here Samer is the object. We take it and put it at the beginning of the sentence. Samer is going to be visited by me. Samer is going to be visited by me. Samer is singular, so we should put as going to be visited by me. And the verb here, verb three, is verb three. Kanan likes apples. Kanan is the subject, likes verb one, apples, object. Apples. Kanan. We should put by are liked. Apples are liked by Canon. He employs a servant. A servant is the object. So we take it and put it at the beginning of the sentence. The subject would, should be uh, put put at the end of the sentence with by and employs as the verb one present symbol so we should use is or are or am plus verb three here we have a servant is singular so we should put as verb three is employed 
My mother washes my clothes. My clothes are washed by my mother. We celebrate the golden jubilee of our school. I greet the student. The student is greeted by me. Here we have another examples. They killed the enemies. Subject, verb to, object. Object by the subject was or were verb three. The enemies by them were killed. He wrote a letter. A letter was written by him. We don't put where here because the object here is singular. Here we have the homework, try to do it at home and next time we are going to do it together. Thank you.